good morning YouTube. How are you today? Welcome to a new driving video with Adventuring Art. That's me. Uh, today we are going out on a little trip. It's an early morning trip before I get my work day started. I figured I'd give you a little update on kind of what's new in the life of Adventuring Art and uh, Mrs. Adventuring Art. Kind of giving you a quick, quick post. Um, all right. Uh, I guess uh, for starters, uh, where are we going today? Uh, um, it's early, and I'm in in a metroplex, so there's a uh, a lot of traffic at uh, six. Uh, was it six thirty, six twenty seven in the morning? And I think the display says five, and maybe off by an hour. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, it's it's six thirty. So this is right about time that people start hitting the road. So you're you're gonna get to see some lovely traffic. I'm sure none of you have ever seen traffic before, right? Um, maybe it's not too bad today. Let, let's, let's be hopeful. All right, so where are we going today? So my my thought was just to drive through uh, around the Saginaw area, take a look at the uh, drive past the high school, kind of kind of where uh, Saginaw is the shape, based a small town. It's a, the shape of a square located in kind of with Fort Worth tentacles surrounding it, kind of all around it. Uh, now, as far as uh, uh, yeah, a lot, there's a lot of shopping centers and things like that. Um, anyways, let's uh, let's just go go through a little drive through Saginaw, take uh, take take you back through some new routes that we haven't gone down before, and uh, let's just give a little little bit of an update. Okay. Uh, all right. With uh, with that being said, let's uh, let's just talk about. Uh, so since my last driving video, we talked a little bit about kind of some future plans. Uh, well, change is in the air, as my friend Rusty would say. Uh, there definitely change is a coming. Um, so I got, uh, I'm still, as you can tell, uh, or, or maybe you can't tell, I'm still in the silver, what is this, um, uh, Chevy Malibu. I'm still driving this little rental car that they, a loaner that they've uh, given me while they're repairing my vehicle. Um, they're, they are, oh, look at this. This is fun hard going left here um so yeah it's so basically i'm waiting on my truck to get uh get returned back to me uh, uh my truck is still in the shop i put it in the shop i believe it was uh april 20th here we are now today is june 1st so we're talking a month and a half now uh getting the hail damage repaired uh my guy that i'm working with told me that i should be able to get my vehicle back by June 1st, no, not June 1st, uh, that's today, uh, by tomorrow, June 2nd. So, so apparently my, uh, my truck will be ready by tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little doubtful for that. You know, I'm trying to be positive and optimistic, but let's see, uh, he, I've been given a few other days before. I was given last Friday. I was given two, the, um, Wednesday. I was given Saturday of last week. So it's like, yeah, I, I keep getting uh, floating date changes. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping by the end of this week, I will be back in the silver pickup truck and on to the next chapter. Um, as far as Mrs. Adventuring Art's concern, uh, yes, uh, as, if you've seen my previous video, she did get a new vehicle. She's in a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, this is our first Chrysler vehicle. Um, it's the uh, limited trim, which uh, gives her a lot of the bells and whistles, uh, you know, with a TV screens and lane keeping assistance and emergency braking, all the all the fun uh, safety features that uh, definitely will keep Mrs. Adventuring Art safe, which uh, which is a good deal. Um, aside from that, uh, we, uh, we it comes with a it's plug-in hybrid, so uh, so it plugs in in the house on the standard 110 outlet. Uh, I, I realized when you plug in when she would get home, uh, it would give an estimate of about. 12 to 14 hours to top it off to 100% with the standard home charger, which typically, you know, if she's getting home around 4 p.m. and out the door the next day by 5 or 6, then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But uh, because of that, uh, we would find ourselves going to, for some late evening or afternoon trips, and it would end up causing her not to be at 100% the next day. She'd be about maybe 70 or 80. So uh, what I have done was I purchased Mrs. Adventuring Art a 240 volt fast charger. It's called a level two charger. 
uh, it'll charge it up to full in about three hours. So it's about five times as fast as uh, the other one was uh, rated at. So anywhere from two to three hours, you know, I can basically fill her up, you know, uh, with ele with electrons. Uh, <laughs> it'll go about 35 miles on electric and um, really haven't used a lot of gas. I mean, she was using a little bit of gas in the beginning because it wasn't fully charged in, uh, the next day. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's, it's all electric. I'd say we're driving about 95%, 90 to 95% electric. And, um, and yeah, so uh, we're really liking the van. Uh, it's, it's, you know, again, you know, it's saving us gas. And uh, you know, we're ready for this, uh, for our next road trip. Man, I, I can't wait. Um, uh, aside from that, uh, as far as me, uh, I'm getting uh, the truck back. Um, now, <laughs> that is a gas monster. Man, I love Silver, don't get me wrong. Silver's a great truck, and he, uh, or she, rather, uh, she uh, lets, lets uh, you know, I can load her up with stuff in the back, uh, you know, you can treat her rough, right over bumps, right off road. Uh, but, you know, I'm noticing some little things, you know, like, um, like they, you know, it's expected, right? You know, you're riding, you're riding uh, in, uh, up in the mountains or things like that. You start hearing squeaking and things like that. It's a truck, it's gonna happen. Uh, and that's fine uh, and then but uh, the main thing I kind of concerns me are the the gas prices right you know we all have to pay gas we all got for all of us that have a vehicle we have gas to pay and uh, with with that vehicle averaging anywhere from 14 to 17 miles a gallon which I'm I'm kind of pegged in the middle right around 15 is what it says on the display most most times and it's pretty accurate uh, I find myself uh, kind of uh, just getting concerned with um, the amount of uh, gas that's getting put into the vehicle and you know I, I kind of knew that getting into it I wasn't sure uh, if this was gonna be like my quote-unquote forever car uh, but you never know uh, so so what I'm thinking uh, is basically getting the truck back with uh, the hail damage repaired and whatnot and uh, I've gotten an offer on Kelly Blue Book they give you what's called a Kelly Blue Book instant offer uh, basically offering me about 18,000 uh, to 20,000 more than uh, what I owe on it. Uh, let me take my drink of my uh, a and Root Beer Zero here. Um, so you, you may ask yourself, why is it valued at so much more than what you owe on it? It's normally never that way. Well, I put a considerable amount down. You know, I put about 17,000 down and I've been paying on it for about a year. So uh, it, it, it basically kind of comes up as a wash for me. Ends up being basically a flat. Uh, didn't really earn anything. Um, maybe I rented the, the truck per se for uh, a year, but I'm considering trading it in. Uh, turning it in and getting a smaller vehicle. Uh, that doesn't mean I can't go adventuring, right? Uh, I can definitely do adventures in, the, in a vehicle, but it'll be my vehicle instead of being a loner car, which is what this one is here. So what car am I looking at? Well, right now I have in mind the Chevy Bolt. Bolt with a B, not Bolt with a B as in Victor. It's B as in boy. So uh, what is a Chevy Bolt? Well, a Chevy Bolt is an electric vehicle. Now with that level two charger, uh, I might, I'll be able to, uh, after Mrs. Adventuring Art tops off, or if she just uses the standard home charger, I can charge it at the same time. But it has a range of, it's rated at 259. I've seen reviews where people are getting around 300 miles uh, electric range. Uh, I have ha owned a, an electric car before. Uh, the Nissan Leaf was my first electric car. It was I got that in 2013 on a lease. Uh, I love the car, it just, the range was just too low. Uh, 75 miles was its rated range, and or 72 actually, and I found myself getting right around that. But whenever it was cold out, I would only get about 50. And at the time, my uh, mother lived in Boyd, and I lived in Keller, and I would find myself inching along uh, in low battery warning when I'd come back picking her up, and that to me was just unacceptable. I have to be able to go out and uh, I'd visit my mother every. Uh, Oh, every other week, or we'd pick her up, take her to church with us, and uh, and yeah, when I wasn't able to do that, or because of just concerns of not being able to get there, I kind of said, well, I just need something with a lot more range. So I think this will hit all those pain points. Uh, the the electric charging infrastructure network has increased significantly, but having the home fast faster charger uh, does the level two charger does allow 
me to be able to accomplish uh, those uh, charging goals. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of uh, have that there. <laughs> uh, let's get through this little intersection here. I'm just stop in there. All right. Um, so yeah, having a having a, an electric vehicle that will accomplish a, you know you, you it's less of a reason well, why electric vehicle why not just gas you might you might ask uh, or why not even a hybrid well hybrids are great uh, they they're they're great vehicles uh, we have one uh, we have the plug-in hybrid style there's different kinds there's gas plug-in uh, but the only thing that uh, I'm concerned about is the lubricating parts so each the more lubricating parts you have that require uh, oil electri uh, oil gas um, all the fluids that that you know transmission fluid things like that those are components that are likely to wear out first and uh, you know I've I have heard uh, people that have electric vehicles that have you can basically go your first your first maintenance really isn't necessary other than uh, tire rotations so about a hundred thousand miles <laughs> you know you're talking uh, a long time and, you know if you're just rotating your tires now there are vehicle firmware updates and things like that but the uh, the bolt does over the air firmware uh, firmware updates and and yeah so um, so the you know you're reducing maintenance costs the amount the brake friction is actually non-existent if you use regenerative regenerative braking basically your brake your brakes should outlast the vehicle and you might have to replace the standard little 12 volt battery that's uh, on board that powers the internal electronics that would really be the but it, all that i can do at home you know the tire rotations i can just swap them around maybe buy new tires uh but basically other than just just typical smaller things you, i don't really have to worry too much about maintenance in that vehicle uh if at all uh now right now currently maintenance is a very large uh line item in my book uh in my budget so uh that means i will be getting recouping that um and then i'll also be recouping the gas expenses i was spending you know as a work from home person i was spending about 150 to 200 dollars a month on uh, gas expenses which is incredible for a work from home person now you know yeah if if I ever had to drive to the office, I would I would be very hesitant because I'm like, the fact that I have to spend now um, 10 to $15 just to drive into the office, you know, uh, I don't want that feeling. I don't want that hesitancy. I don't, you know, I'd rather not, uh, I'd rather feel at liberty just to drive as much as I want and not have to worry about wear and tear on the vehicle uh, or as much wear and tear on the vehicle. So that's why I'm thinking, um, you know, for me, electric's the way to go. It's not for everybody, uh, but I am considering the Chevy Bolt. Uh, with a B. There are others out there that I've considered like Tesla. Uh, I have looked into the other options, but for me, I'm kind of a, I'm not a short guy. I'm, a, I'm not, and I'm not a tall guy, but I'm, I'm just a little, I'm a hair, I guess you're not going dude. Um, um, a hair under, <laughs> under tall. I'm right about six feet, five foot, 11 and a half ish. Uh, you know, you can just call it six feet, uh, six feet tall. So uh, with that, I have to be concerned about uh, the the headroom. Uh, I, I like a vehicle with a lot of ample headspace, and that's why the Bolt is is one of my favorite ones with all the tech features that it offers. So, um, yeah. So the Chevy Bolt. Uh, I'm real excited to to check it out and to share that with you. If 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 it works out, I'm not married to a specific color uh a dealership or whatnot i i'm just looking for the best deal so i've been shopping around and i've seen it oh by the way it is the lowest price electric vehicle that you can find essentially you can find deals as low as like twenty four thousand, twenty three thousand on a brand new vehicle now that's 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 basically the same price you would pay for uh a gas car right um or, or, or less than so the fact that you can do that and you're saving all this money you're saving this payment and i'm going to be rolling in about eighteen thousand of equity in a twenty four thousand dollar vehicle with all the specials and sales and discounts that they have going on right now uh yeah i can have a vehicle paid off and then i can help um and, and here's my other main goal is helping miss adventuring art pay off hers i want to help i want to get this vehicle down to, to flatten out so we don't have any vehicle payments so the fact that i'm still roped into another five years uh, on my truck uh, this is going to cut down that by, you know, maybe four years. I can reduce the amount of payments I'm making to about a one-year, uh, a one-year loan instead of a, a five-year. Um, so, so yeah. 
there you have it folks that's the pig update uh, thinking about uh, trading in silver as soon as I get her back I'm probably just gonna turn it around and just flip it and get and look at the Chevy bolt so I wanted to share that with you uh, and uh, at least kind of keep you updated I can't wait to go on my first uh, cr whatever cross-country electric electrified uh, adventure you know in, in my channel I do a lot of uh, things with electricity related anyways like my e-bike I do a lot of reviews on power stations. It just felt very apropos getting the uh, electric car. So um, yeah, it's not it's not giant, you know. Now I, I probably won't be doing a ton of off roading, but I can definitely go to sites that have a, at least a decent uh, off off road paved or, or gravel gravel roads that don't have, that are all, not all rutted out and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for those new electrified adventures. I'm excited to share those with you. Uh, um, other than that, I'm doing great. I'm feeling well. Uh, weight loss is still on par. I'm down about another pound this week. Uh, uh, I'm right at 61.5 pounds down. I know it's not Weight Loss Wednesday in my weight, <laughs> my weekly ch check in, but uh, I'm doing great though. Uh, so I just wanted to share a quick update with you. Um, thanks for uh, riding with me here in Saginaw, Texas. Uh, we're now actually just leaving Saginaw. I I've kind of done the square <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and head back home. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, give you a quick update. Thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate you. Uh, we'll be in touch. We've got more adventures that are in store as soon as I get my personal vehicle back. And uh, and I can't wait to share the, this next leg of the journey with you. Uh, again, this is Adventuring Art. Signing off. Thumbs up to you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Later, folks. Later, folks.